Okay, thank y'all for visiting today. This is Brian High School Algebra 1. Today we'll be working on our review for our Unit 1.2 test. This review will get you ready for the test. The number one, what are the six steps in solving an equation? First of all, what am I going to look for for step one? Parentheses. Parentheses. So if everybody will write that down for me, please, if you don't have it already. Okay, I know that during parentheses, I am going to distribute, okay? Step two, what do I look for next? I'm going to combine like terms, or in other words, I'm going to put things with the same last name together. Apples with apples, oranges with oranges. Step three, what am I going to do? Variables on both sides. Now, that would be an example. I got 5x on one side of the equal sign, and I have 2x on the other. What happens when I see that? What do I need to do? I need to take... Oh, yeah, the smallest one. Very good. I need to take the smallest one, take the opposite get it to the other side of the equal sign. So y'all are good on that. Step four, what do I do? Box your variable. Box. Excellent. I'm going to box my variable, okay? And something that I do, I just draw a line down to equal sign, just to tell me that these sides are separate. Step five, what do I do? Add or subtract. Great, I'm going to add or subtract. And then my last step, of course, is to divide. divide. Okay. Vocabulary-wise, what am I going to divide by? What's that number in front of the letter? The co coefficient. coefficient. Excellent job. All right. So now we're going to go on to question number three. It was a little bit of a tough one. Okay, but let's simplify this thing. First of all. I don't like fractions at all in my problem, all right? So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate the fraction. This is a division problem. If I looked at nothing else but the fraction, that's saying 3 divided by 2. The opposite of division is multiplication. multiplication. So I'm going to multiply on both sides by 2. Once I do that, these cancel. And I have 3B, or 3 parentheses B plus 1, equals 3 times 2, which is 6. At this point, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready to go through my six steps. Step 1 asks us to do what? Parentheses. And I need to distribute. What is 3 times B and what is 3 times 1? 3 times B is? 3B, 3 times positive 1 is? 3. Plus 3. Okay, and I did not use the equal sign and I did not use 6. Okay, the next step asks me, can I combine like terms? Do these two have the same last name? No. No, so I can't do that. Are there variables on both sides? No. No. So, what I can do now is go on down the step number four, which is box my variable. And I'm just going to put this right here to separate the sides of the equal sign. Y'all don't have to do that, OK? Now, the next step after I box, I need to do what? Add and subtract. Add or subtract. What is the opposite of plus three? Minus, Minus three. Minus three. OK, what happens to these two? They They're done. What do I have left? 3B. So 3B equals, what is 6 minus 3? Three? 3. Great job. My last step asks for me to do what? Divide. divide. And I'm going to divide by the coefficient, which is? 3. three. What happens to these? They cancel. they cancel. And I end up with <laughs> B equals, what is 3 divided by 3? Three? One. Are there any questions? Any questions? Okay. Did a good job there. Okay, number four. Let's go ahead and look at it. I'm going to go through this fast because it is similar 
to question number three. So just hang with me. First step, we're going to do parentheses. Okay? Don't forget the negative sign. That is a popular mistake. All right? So go negative 4 times 5. That is negative 20H. Negative 20 times negative 7. That's plus 28. And then we did not use 16H. So 16H. And that equals 4. Okay? 16H minus 20H is negative 4H plus 28 equals 4. At this point, I can box my variable, box everything and the sign. I'm going to draw this just to separate my sides. I'm going to take the opposite of plus 28, which is minus 28. Excellent. These cross out, and I have negative 4H equals 4 minus 28, which is negative 24. My last step asks me to divide on both sides by the coefficient, which is negative 4. These cancel, and h equals negative 24 divided by negative 4 is positive 6. Okay? Any questions? Okay, now, some of the things y'all had problems with, I'll cover at this moment. What's the next question y'all had issues with? I'll cover that right now. Y'all just want me to keep rolling? Seven. Seven. Okay, number seven. This was one that you just kind of had to remember something there. First of all, it asked me to solve so I can go through my six steps. I'm going to just draw a line to separate my equal sign, sides of the equal sign, okay? Do I have parentheses? Okay. No. Do I, can I combine like terms on this side? No. On this side? No. no. Do I have variables on both sides? Yes. yes. But we're asked to pick on the little guy. Well, we can't because they're the exact same, right? Mm -hmm. So we're just going to add 3z and add 3z. Well, it cancels here and it cancels here. So really I end up with negative 1 equals 8. And y'all are probably thinking, what is that? No solution. It is no solution. Now, that is the answer to the question. Now, when you solve for something, when you solve for something, I need y'all to remember this. When the variables are gone, in other words, when the letters are gone, you can get one or two answers. You can get no solution, or you can get all real numbers, okay? Mm -hmm. When they are not equal to each other, you're going to get what? No solution. no solution. If they are equal to each other, you're going to get all real numbers, which the symbol for that is like that funny looking R. Or on your test, it may say all real numbers. Everybody good on that? This is something you need to study for about five minutes tonight so you don't forget it tomorrow. Anybody got questions on this? We can do it. I'm going to Whichever one y'all want. Do you, anybody? 13. 13. Okay, we're going we're gonna to take time to do number eight real quick. Okay? You said we're going to do number eight. Okay, good. Okay, 13. Anybody want to do 11 first? Okay, 11. 